there, G2 Army. Brittany here. It's been an incredible start to the year for us at G2. I am here to make sure you didn't miss any of the highlights. Let's get to it. Our League of Legends started off the LEC Spring split on a new foot and some new roles. In a surprise turn of events, Perks and Caps swapped roles returning former auto-filled ADC Perks back to his mid lane kingdom and sending Caps to newfound territory in the bot lane. While Reddit mocked our team for making the reverse swap, it was us who got the last laugh as we finished first place in the regular season with a record of 15-3. Not only did we take the first place spot, we also took the crown for the most popular games of the split. Take that, Reddit analysts. The boys started the year the only way they know how. By popping heads. We kicked off 2020 guns a blazing at Blast Premier Spring taking first place in their group over OG Esports, 100 Thieves, and Evil Geniuses. With this win, we secured ourselves a spot at Spring Finals and $50,000 million. <laughs> I mean $50,000. Next up on the docket was IEM Katowice and the Spodek Arena. This historic venue had always eluded until now as we were unable to make it past the group stages. This year, however, was different. We took our game to new heights, only dropping one map throughout the group stage and qualifying directly for the semifinals. In the semis, we went the distance against Fnatic in a nail-biting series that ended with one second to spare. In the finals, we faced Simple and Navi in what was to be an epic match between two tournament underdogs. Unfortunately, in typical G2 fashion, we faltered and fell victim to the 0-3 curse once again. Despite the second place finish, we moved up to third place in the world standing, sliding ever so closer to that coveted number one spot. In ESL Pro League, the boys put up a good performance in Group C, but were unable to pull ahead of the pack the last day, falling 3-2 at the end of the group stages. Should have picked us too. Ties played his cards right and placed in the top eight at Masters Tour in Los Angeles. If you want to watch the master himself, you can catch him streaming on Twitch. Ah, uh, the year of the invite. Our Rainbow Six Siege team was so graciously invited to the Six Invitational in Montreal after a rather rough patch at the end of 2019. We swapped things around a bit, taking Sir Boss on loan to give us some extra support for the event. Unfortunately, the miracle run in Montreal was not meant to be as we fell in the lower bracket of playoffs to the eventual finalists, Ninjas in Pajamas. But the results in Montreal got us thinking, who needs supports anyways? After Montreal, we underwent another roster swap saying goodbye to Sir Boss and moving the God Emperor Fabian to our bench. In their steed came two players known for their fragging potential, Virtue and Citizen. Together alongside Uono, Kanto, and Pingu, they formed the G2 Rainbow Six Siege Super Team. With the new team in tow, we packed our bags and got them set up with a nice new gaming house in Berlin. As the saying goes, the team that lives together, frags together. Currently, our super team roster is sitting in the middle of the pack in ESL Pro League, but give their guns some time to warm up and we'll be ahead of the pack in no time. The Rainbow Six squad isn't the only team that gets a gaming house. We also set our Rocket League squad up in our New York gaming house to help them focus on their game. After all, since we're a LAN team, we can't lose if we're all together. And lose we did not. Off the back of some incredible performances from the whole squad, we took first place in RLCS Season 9, beating out both Energy and Space Station Gaming in some heart-wrenching series. For his outstanding performance, Rizzo took home the long-awaited playoffs and finals MVP. Off the back of this victory, we secured our spot in the Rocket League Spring Series, an exciting new tournament from Psyonix. We're also well on our way to make the finals of the Astronaut Star Circuit. Worlds last year had many incredible and memorable moments. One of the biggest, of course, was when Carlos had the chance to pop the question to Ibai. Ibai, ¿quieres trabajar conmigo? Yes, he said yes. It might have looked like a joke, but really, we all know he meant it. In February, we signed Ibai, Revan, Barbecue, and Ander as our new team of Spanish creators. Based in Barcelona, these chicos will be streaming and creating content for the G2 Army. Once again, we're on top as we take first place as the most talked about esports team in March. We hosted a couple of great events at our office in the first part of the year. We kept our fans entertained with LEC viewing parties at our offices in Berlin, where fans could mingle with other members of the G2 Army, buy apparel, get free Red Bull, and most of all, watch us take the G2 win. 
We hosted a winter reception event in partnership with MediaNet Brandenburg, where we invited industry professionals to our offices to speak about esports and its development. We also collaborated with law students from Berlin to give them an inside look at how G2 operates and teach them more about esports law. Oh, and also, we're on TikTok. Be sure to give us a follow to get your daily dose of memes, and of course, you'll see Carlos on there busting out all kinds of crazy moves. A new year means a new look for G2. This year, we released a new 2020 jersey and hoodie. A new lifestyle line with the OTS collection, which sold out in nearly 24 hours, brought back the popular U.S., Canadian, and Spanish jerseys, and introduced a clean new flag. Be sure to stay tuned for more exciting apparel drops in the coming months. In January, we welcome Secret Lab as our new gaming chair sponsor. They are here to give us the support and workout we deserve. Our Rocket League and Sim Racing teams can see much clearer now with Philips as their new screen sponsor. And we're delighted to have renewed our partnership with Logitech, PaySafe Card, and Nice Cactus. In January, in the spirit of collaboration, we hosted our first ever partnership summit to bring together our various partners. It was a great chance for us and our partners to find great ways to entertain and excite the G2 army. Tournaments may be online, but we're not slowing down one bit. Our League of Legends team will play through the LEC Spring Split playoffs, hoping to take a 7th regional title. Rainbow Six Siege Pro League continues with our newly formed super team, testing out their fragging potential. Our Rocket League squad will be playing in the Astronaut Star Circuit on April 18th and the Rocket League Spring Series from April 25th through the 26th. And of course, you can find our players, creators, and even Carlos out there with the best of them competing at Valorant. Thanks for joining us to relive the highlights from these past three months. Be sure to stay up to date with all of G2's news by following us on social media. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.